friends and family. As the title suggested, I'd like to show you the animals that I'm going to bring to my very first Roaming Reptiles show. I would like to get you guys feedback about the animals I'm bringing and just hear what everybody has to say about it. First, I've got a couple of updates real quick. It's also my birthday. Happy birthday! Noah Sage made me this little birthday hat for my birthday. He is at his first day of school today too, so there's another update. Also, look what he made me. He made me this nice card. Look at that. Eli painted with these nice pictures of a whale and a beetle. <laughs> what do you think about that? Nice. Look at that little artist. Hillary got me this interesting book. I'd like to thank my buddy Kenny Ginn for the, for the wonderful shirt here. And our friend Sophie over in France who sent us these wonderful macaroons from her hometown there in France. I ate all of those, Sophie. I'm going to try and save the rest for the family. So. <laughs> As we're getting ready for the show, I just wanted to have a kind of a list together, an idea of all the stuff that I'm going to bring so that I can be organized in my mind. I've got a kind of good idea of the different variety of animals I'd like to bring. And this is actually in the order that I'm planning to present them in the show. First off here we got Stevie. She was donated to us by Terry over at the NorCal Herp Society. So thank you Terry for Stevie here. Terry, I bet you can guess which Stevie this girl's named after. Hmm? Little three-toed box turtle. This is going to be our introductory animal to the beginning of the show and I feel like a, tur a turtle's a good example. Turtle's a turtle's good place to start. Whoa! What do you think Stevie? You think you're good to start with? I think you're great to start with. Look at you. You're amazing. Swimming, swimming, I'm a turtle, I want to swim, even though I'm a box turtle, so I spend most of my life on land. Swim, swim, swim. And I'm planning to alternate one animal that's not a snake, and then a snake, and then animal, snake, animal, snake. Snakes are animals too, but I'm such a snake guy, I figure I should do a lot of snakes, because I'll be excited about showing the kids snakes. Mmm, one other thing, in my background, do you notice anything different about the background today? Comment down below if you scour the background, maybe watch some old videos if you've never seen them before. See if there's some, what, what do you notice that's different about the background? You, you Patreon folks, no, no cheating. Check these out. These are the new Freedom Breeder rodent transport tubs. They stack on top of each other very nicely. So you got this nice gap here where there's not going to be any kind of, uh, you know, the ventilation doesn't get blocked when you're stacking. I don't do anything with live rodents, but I found that they're really awesome for transporting snakes too. I put a little paper in the bottom. They're so well ventilated and they're secure. You can put little zip ties in there to, to keep it, uh, you know, extra secure. And this is going to be the first snake that we show. And this is Mr. Pink. And he is the first ball python that we ever produced here. And his name is Mr. Pink because he's also the only one that survived out of the clutch. So I figured uh, I want to share animals that have good stories. I'm going to pepper facts into the show. I'm taking the approach kind of like Brandon did. I think it's a good approach to get the kids emotionally involved with the animals that have stories, something they can maybe relate to and, and have an emotional attachment to to really get them excited about the animals and, and help them make that connection to the animals with a story versus boring them all day with facts. So, no, not that I won't teach some facts as, as we go along, but I, the facts are going to be secondary to the story of the animals. That's why all the animals have names. It's nice because all my animals already had names. And they already have stories. I don't have to make any up. <laughs> and while the turtles are still fresh in their mind, I will come through with a tortoise so we can talk about the differences between turtles and tortoises. And this is Hal. If you guys remember, we were naming uh, these animals. Hillary was pushing for Hal and, and she won. She won. How? How the Russian tortoise. You know what I learned about Russian tortoises yesterday? They're the only tortoise species that has four toes on every single foot. Right? 
And for days that Hal gets tired and he doesn't want to be at the shows, we've got Charlie, the Russian tortoise, to, to back him up and give Hal days off. Charlie, say hello. And then our next snake, another snake with a great story, Mr. Junior. What's up, bro? How you feeling? No food response right now, right? Yep. There he is. Dude, look at the iridescence on him today. Fantastic. Look at his head. Obviously, you guys that have been following the channel know about Junior's great story. So I'm going to tell that story to the kids, of course. And Andy's a beautiful snake. And he's a big reticulated python and figured he should get some oohs and ahs. And he's great, great temperament. So great for kids to come up and pet. And I don't have to worry about him doing anything weird, like getting all weird and weirding out and being a weird guy. Nope, don't have to worry about that at all. Because Junior's awesome. I never thought that I would keep a tarantula, but here he is. I don't know if, I think it's a male. I'm guessing by the size of his, oh, oh, he's flicking butt hairs. That's not what we want. Don't flick butt hairs. Noah's warned me about this. You're good, you're good. Come on, dude. We don't have to be weird about this. We're friends now. We've been hanging out. We're having good times. Yeah, tarantula. Check that out. He's cool. I mean, I can't be scared of him if the kids aren't going to be scared. I'm not scared. This is so different. So many legs. I cut my finger with the, you know, the little part of the tape gun that like breaks the tape off when you're wrapping tape because I was shipping out snakes today. Yeah, I cut my, cut my finger pretty deep with that thing today. So I got it wrapped. T. I lied. I guess I'm not doing animal snake, animal snake, uh, but because <laughs> the next animal that's why I write these things down, so I don't forget. So this is our leopard gecko Scratch. And she's gonna be our ambassador. When she gets tired, whoa, we've got Speckles over here. Speckles and Scratch are leopard gecko ambassadors to the world. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you little turd nugget. <laughs> don't, 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 chill out. We're good. We're just hanging. Oh! Okay, let's stay low. Oh, you're jumping. She's jumping. She's jumping. Scratch and jump. You're both jumping. Get back. Get back. It's okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Handling two, handling two at a time is not the answer. One at a time. One at a time. Okay. One, one, one. Don't freak out, dude. I got you. We're friends. We're hanging out. There we go. Now we're nice. It's like, no, I'm not nice. We'll, we'll have to work on that part. And next. So these guys freak me out, honestly, more than any of the animals we're gonna be showing. I don't know how I'm gonna get over this, but I'm gonna have to. I might as well do it right now. Just don't bite me like Noah said you were biting him. Ah, just, uh. Please don't go up my shirt. It's a hissing cockroach. They flatten out a lot when they got, this is the male, you can tell because he's got the horns on him. And just, oh man. I, I don't know. Ah! It's all right, we're gonna grow together. We're growing together. It's a hissing cockroach. I think maybe the kids will get a kick out of how much they freak me out. Okay, we're done. We'll try that again later. Calm down, calm down. I got you. Hey, hey, hey. Shh, shh. Come here, come here. Woo, come here. I got you, I got you. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Shh. <laughs> She's got my hair. She's got everything. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. We're good now. Oh. <laughs> So, it's Roxanne. She's the Tegu. She's gonna be next on the lineup. She's a little bit of a handful right now because she's still kind of getting used to me, but we're slowly but surely becoming very close, trusted friends. Hey, right, Roxanne? Yeah, we're getting to know each other a little bit better. 
I've been taking her outside like every day, putting her in the sun, scratching her belly and just trying to get her comfortable and used to me. And she gets there like I just pulled her out so she's a bit skittish of me still but she's getting used to the sound of my voice I think and I, I talk to her and try to calm her down in my presence and I think she's going to be a real hit with the kids and she's very fun to work with, aren't you? Aren't you, huh? Give you some little head scratches here. Make you nice. Make you sweet. Make you okay with me. Give that little give that little chin some chin chin. Get that chin a rub. Give that head a scratch. Give it a pat. We're okay. Don't swim away. Woo! You're okay. I know. You don't want to be up. You don't want to be up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I got you. I got you. We're okay. Oh, <laughs> the scratching. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it's good though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, snakes. Snakes don't do this. It's okay though. It's okay. We're gonna be friends. We're gonna be okay with each other. We don't. It's gonna be all right. There's gonna be nothing to worry about. Right? We're good. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. All right. Note to self: hair up when handling Roxanne. Second to last on our little roster is gonna be our little children's python here, Lucky. She's Lucky. She was slated for brain surgery at the local uh, university here for science and uh, I said, no, I'll take her. Let's not cut her brain open. Let's, let's, let's let her teach kids how to be nice to snakes. Yes. That's what you're gonna do, Lucky. Aren't you Lucky? And after we're done showing the kids how cool it is to See how small and tiny a python can be? We'll bust out Betsy here and be like, and this is also a python. And I think that should be pretty cool for the kids to see. This should be the, the golden crowning moment of the show where we bust out the big giant python face. Python face! And I'll bring a variety of snakes in the future. I'm not gonna bring these same animals all the time. That's a great thing about having a bunch of animals to choose from. I can bring Betsy, and then one week I could bring Beatrice. And then if it seems like Beatrice is over it, then I can just bring Sunset and Midnight, our indigo snakes. And hell, I could even bring Cornflake and Popcorn. <laughs> These guys are so nuts. Oh, uh, yeah, so we got a variety of animals to bring, but there's one animal I don't have yet that I'm really wanting to bring, which is an African bullfrog. So when we're at the San Jose show this weekend, I'm gonna be looking around for an African bullfrog. So, or if you guys know anybody who's got an African bullfrog that they want to go teach kids about animals, then, uh, you know, hit me up. Yeah. Hey, Noah. What? How was your first day of school? Awesome. Awesome? Every part of it was awesome, except losing my candy. <laughs> what about losing your food out of your face right there? Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? No, I know. Snakes. What about snakes? That. There, some are venomous, some aren't. Some are rear banged. And some are front banged. And all rattlesnakes have a tail that rattles. All of them are reptiles. All of them don't have eyelids. And all of them have scales. And all of them have a forked like tongue. All of them have no... Do all of them have a nose? There's the rhino rat snake that has the like long nose that comes off like this, but doesn't actually use that part of it for smelling. Is it? What are you guys doing back there, Mushi? What's wrong? You missing a shoe? Look at the mess you made, Mushi. Anything else? And all and even snakes without bangs, they still all will have teeth to bite. Because all of them at least need to bite something to, to survive. And that's all I know. Hey, Mushi! Oh, and all of them have. And all of them have. What do you know? <laughs> he 
Grimmies. What? What do you know? I know. Godzilla Earth. <laughs> what about Godzilla Earth? Daddy's really big and he's so big ah! than the legendary and he's ah! a little bigger than Mechan Godzilla and that's why I know. Do I don't want to do know. what you know. <laughs> what do you know? Mm -mm. <laughs> I guess Hillary's too good to grace us with her presence today, but you know what? She's going to have to grace us later because it's my birthday! Okay. It's my birthday! Mine. What? I said I graced you with my beautiful guitar playing earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you guys ever heard a. Uh, Happy birthday played on one chord. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, leave a comment down below if you're not. And maybe we'll make it better with uh, some funny comments back or something. Hmm, we'll try. Bye. Aloha. Well, I'll, I'll help you. But the thing is, today... I'm helping you. We stopped using the internet. Mm, dun, dun, dun. <laughs>